Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my pregnancy must-haves. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I am about halfway through... I think maybe a little bit more than halfway through my second trimester right now so these things may change all I have to go by obviously is my first trimester and then half of my second trimester so far I'm sure there's going to be other things that I will want slash need come my third trimester but that's just not where I'm at yet so if you are in your first or even second trimester some of these things may help you most of them are available on Amazon I will link every single item that I mentioned down below in the description box and um, just I feel like I just need to say this even though it's probably common sense um, these things may or may not work for you depending on your pregnancy your symptoms everything that you're going through I think every single person's pregnancy is different so just keep that in mind well, you're watching. All right, some of these things are very obvious, like first trimester items, and then some of them are things that I've just needed through the entire pregnancy. So I guess I'm just gonna try to start out with like my first trimester things. The first one is these Preggy Pops. These are Preggy Pop drops, and they're essentially, I have two of them left. They're just like little sour hard candies. Um, these are supposed to help with nausea, and I don't think that there's anything like special about them and I actually was surprised because so I got these realized that they're literally just sour hard candy and then I went to go look and see if I could just get sour hard candy at the grocery store and there's really not a sour hard candy there's sour gummy candy but I didn't really see any sour hard candy which was interesting so anyway these I don't know what it is about the acidity or if it's just the sour flavor or what it is but they definitely helped with my nausea so these I definitely recommend I think they also come in a larger package of them um, I wasn't sure if they would work or not so I ordered the small package they definitely did help me not a hundred percent but some another first trimester like nausea remedy I guess was saltine crackers I actually kept a sleeve of them on my nightstand because if I would go too many hours without eating I would feel sick and so I would wake up in the middle of the night and eat a couple of crackers like three four whatever time in the morning did not matter I would just have a couple of them and it would help settle my stomach I was having to eat every couple of hours to keep the nausea at bay and the saltines really helped and kind of along with that if you're from Michigan you're probably gonna laugh at this um, but Verner's which if you are not from Michigan you may not be familiar with Verner's but it is a soda it is a ginger ale and it's just like the best soda it's something that everyone drinks in Michigan like for any ailment that you have if you have a cold if you have a fever if you have whatever you're always drinking Verner's I don't know what it is but it's very like calming for me but also ginger ale and but in general is just really good for nausea and so those were kind of like the things that I was doing for my nausea one thing that I did not know going into pregnancy is that you cannot take hot baths which I love 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 hot baths so I ended up buying this water thermometer you can use this for kids too and you can just it just floats in the water but it'll tell you how warm the water is so I used this so that I could still take warm baths without getting the water too hot so that it would be dangerous and I just kind of like empty and fill the tub a couple of times to keep it at the like basically the warmest that it can be so that I can still take a bath even though it's not as hot as I wish it was. So this has definitely come in handy and I know that we'll definitely use this once baby boy is here because you wanna make sure that their bath water is not too hot as well. One thing I started to do almost as soon as I started noticing that I was growing was using lotion on my belly to try to prevent stretch marks as much as humanly possible. So I have two different kinds that I've been using. I just keep one upstairs and one downstairs. So I put one on before I go to bed and then the other one when I get out of the shower or in the morning, I will put it on so that I'm putting it on twice a day and just trying to do the best that I can so one of them is this which is the Palmer's cocoa butter massage lotion for stretch marks this is the one that I keep upstairs and um, you can just find it at 
I mean, it's on Amazon, but it's also like at a grocery store or Target or wherever. And then the other one that I've been using is this one from Summer Fridays. This is the Baby Moon Belly Balm. This one is more of like the consistency of Vaseline. It does not have, it's not just a regular lotion that you can just rub the extra in your hands. It definitely feels a little bit greasier. And so I want to wash my hands after I use this. It doesn't bother me under my clothing, like on my belly or anything, but on my hands I definitely don't want it on there but I've actually been really enjoying this you can tell I've used quite a bit of it already and the packaging of this one is just beautiful um, so I don't know if one works better than the other one or not um, my sister got me this one this is the one that she swears by I just happened to see an ad for this one I think like on Instagram or something they were doing a pre-sale because they had just launched it at the end of last year and so I picked it up and I've really been enjoying it so I've just kind of been going back and forth and using both of these because I figured if one's better than the other then at least I will have been covered by both of them so those are kind of the two that I'm using right now I actually also have a belly oil that a friend gifted to me um, I haven't really been using that one as much just because I do have these two and I kind of prefer using the like lotion jelly consistency more than the oil personally. If you are not new around here, then you probably know that I suffer from migraines and just a lot of frequent headaches. And if you're pregnant, you cannot take really anything. So my doctor told me Tylenol, caffeine, and rest. So that was kind of all I was left with. And I definitely have taken Tylenol for my headaches and have tried to rest and drink some extra caffeine. But one thing that has always helped my migraines is this ice mask. You just put it in the freezer and these little beads freeze and then the inside is a fleece material. It just goes around your head. And this really helps me fall back asleep if I have a bad headache. I have loved these for, gosh, I've had, I think I bought one like two years ago maybe. And anytime I ever have a migraine, I will put this on and try to go back to sleep. So that has kind of always been part of my migraine regimen, but with pregnancy, since it's one of the only things I can do, I actually ended up buying two more of these masks because they don't stay cold forever. Like you might get like maybe 20 or 30 minutes out of it, but then obviously it does warm back up. So I just keep all of these in the freezer. And if you can't tell, <laughs> I love this thing. If you get headaches in general, even if you're not pregnant, I can't recommend this enough. I just think that it's the best thing ever. One thing I've been dealing with basically since I found out that I was pregnant was congestion. And this is, I guess, really common for pregnancy, which I was unaware of until I started dealing with it. And my doctor said I can take congestion medicine, but she doesn't want me taking it all the time. And so if it gets really bad, I will take it. But I've kind of just gotten to a point that I'm just dealing with it and I don't know I'm kind of used to it honestly I'm actually interested to see what it will be like when I'm not congested anymore how I'll feel about just being able to like actually breathe not be blowing my nose all day every day not wake up in the middle of the night because I can't breathe like can't imagine it I'm very excited for it though anyway these nose drops have been such a game changer for me um, they sell them everywhere I think this is just a yeah the Rite Aid brand um, but you just take a couple of drops tip your head back drip them into your nose and let them sit for a minute and then you can magically breathe and it's it doesn't last forever by any sense of the imagination but they last long enough for me to lay down and fall asleep and that is kind of the hardest thing if I'm sick or if I'm ever congested the hardest part is actually falling asleep and laying down and being able to breathe long enough to fall asleep I feel like once I'm asleep maybe my body just naturally starts breathing through my mouth or does whatever I need to do but the falling asleep part is definitely the hardest part so these have come in so handy through that um, you can't use them just forever and ever so these recommend I think three days in a row and then that's it so I was doing three days on three days off for a while I was using them every single day and then I was starting to get bloody noses so I stopped along with the congestion I tried out nose strips which I think these are mostly used for people who 
I have an issue snoring but these are just little strips that you put on your nose they're not medicated or anything they basically just have it's like a piece of tape essentially and it will just when you breathe it opens the passages of your nostrils which lets more air in so these actually did help with my breathing while I was sleeping my only complaint is that and I think I mentioned this in a video already my only complaint was that I would wake up and it was like really dry up there and so I would have a bunch of dried boogers in my nose that were really painful like if you touch your nostrils um, but other than that they definitely did work it's been really really cold in Michigan lately and I think just because of that I'm extra dry and so I've actually been putting Vaseline in my nostrils because I have a bloody nose almost every single day right now which is insane speaking of being dry this Elemis of pro collagen marine cream has been a lifesaver for me i actually just finished a tub and i opened this new one today this is the one with spf 30 i just finished one that was just the plain one but this is such a great moisturizer and my skin i've never dealt i've always had just normal or norm, normal to oily skin but right now my skin is so dry i've and i've actually heard from a couple of you that you had really dry skin when you were pregnant as well it's so weird because obviously i've been used to my skin for you know 34 years of my life and then all of a sudden my skin is really dry and i have no idea what to do with it but this has really helped me when i was first adjusting to it i was using my normal gel moisturizers which i'm sure i will go back to as soon as i'm not dealing with this and i felt like my makeup was just cracking it was so gross so this has been really good for me to use under my makeup just while my skin is insanely dry another recommendation for the congestion from a lot of you guys was trying out a humidifier and i have been using one every single night so i will link the one that i have i really like it it's one that is also kind of like a night light it'll change different colors so you can set what color you want or it'll just filter through the different colors or you can turn the light off and it also has three different settings high medium and low i've really been enjoying it i can definitely tell there's a difference i would not say that it has completely gotten rid of my congestion by any sense of the imagination but it has definitely helped improve it which i will take well worth the money to have some sort of improvement i ended up buying a pregnancy pillow and then i returned it it was not comfortable for me so my issue with laying on my side is my hip pain and my pregnancy pillow it just it's not elevating my hip off the bed like i needed it to and so i have just resorted to a bunch of regular pillows and I actually ended up buying the Boppy Wedge Pillow. And I'm going to keep it just because I do think it'll be good once I have a little bit of a bigger belly and need some support under my belly. But for now, I am using, I think I'm up to like five pillows. One for my head and then everywhere else around my body just to tuck and support. It's insane. I like sleep in a nest of pillows, but that has just been so much better for me than the pregnancy pillow was. And then the wedge pillow was just didn't work for what I needed it to work for either. But my, my nest of pillows is working. So lots and lots of pillows are one of my personal must haves. I will say if you don't have issues with your hips, uh, I think that the pregnancy pillows would be really comfortable just laying in it. I definitely felt supported in it, but for me personally, just because I have bad hips, I it's really painful for me to lay on my side for any amount of time whatsoever. So without any support under my hips, it just wasn't gonna work for me. Another important must have of mine has been stool softeners every single day. So if you know, you know. Okay, comfortable pajamas. That was one of those things like we don't go a ton of places anyway, and my leggings continued to fit for quite a while because they're stretchy and that's kind of what I was living in anyway and then I got a couple of pairs of maternity jeans for Christmas and so I was kind of set with like my daytime pants but I just never considered that my pajamas would also get tight on me and the day that I realized my normal pajamas just didn't fit it was really upsetting so i wish i had just been more proactive and bought more pajamas from the get-go but i have since purchased a few pairs of maternity pajama pants and then also have just sized up in a couple of pajama pants pajama shorts to be specific i always sleep in a long sleeve shirt and shorts that's just the most comfortable for me and uh having comfortable pajamas has been a game changer because sleeping while pregnant is 
nearly impossible anyway so i've been trying to get rid of anything that could prevent me from a good night's sleep so having comfortable pajamas that aren't tight on my belly and are not restrictive or uncomfortable in any way has been so good i've also been taking magnesium it's really good to calm you and to help you sleep so i have the calm powder which i just put into a little bit of water and mix it up but you can also take the gummies i actually bought those and they're not very good i was hoping that they would taste okay because they're just really bland i don't know it's weird uh, anyway I, I had higher hopes for them than when I actually got out of them but the water I didn't want to take because drinking things before bed is just not good if you're pregnant and have to pee a million times a night but I've still just been doing that because I end up preferring it I've just always enjoyed drinking it because I feel like it helps me in a more immediate way okay maternity leggings I was not sure if I would actually buy maternity specific leggings or not i ended up buying some off of amazon they are super super soft they're a little bit thin and they're not the most they're not like compression or anything like that so they're not the most flattering leggings that i own but they are by far the most comfortable i have oh my gosh I, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing anything when you're wearing them so i have been wearing them around the house like crazy cannot get enough of them um if i'm going out which is basically never anyway i probably wouldn't wear those but otherwise i've been wearing them a ton a ton and i did order one size up in my airy leggings which they're supposed to be delivered in a couple of days so i'm hoping that those will be another option that will be a little bit i guess nicer looking than the ones from amazon but the ones from amazon are great and then my regular favorite amazon leggings have worked for me until I mean really the past like week or two they've been digging into my belly a little bit more and it's just i don't want anything tight on my belly right now it is so irritating feeling so uh, anything that's just nice and loose has been my best friend another must have for me has been a comfy bralette i outgrew my regular bras and i'm already large chested i actually don't even know what size i am right now i <laughs> probably will not find out until after this baby comes because I feel like there's no point in buying new bras when I have no idea how big I will get or when they will get back to normal I don't know any of those things so I kind of have just resorted to wearing bralettes and it's been working for me I mean a lot of it is we don't go many places so I'm wearing loungewear a lot or like right now it's sweater weather so this one has thicker straps but it doesn't matter because they're covered by sweaters but this one is from airy and it has removable pads the pads aren't in here right now they're super easy to slip in with this slit though and this one i have in i think like four colors i have it in the medium and in the large the medium fits me perfectly not pregnant i did need to size up to the large because like i said i am already large tested so I definitely needed a little bit more room in there as I started to grow and I did actually purchase another one from Aerie that's supposed to be delivered this week and that one came in like more specific cup sizes well it came in like small medium large and then small d medium d and large d and the d obviously is for d cup sizes and so I ended up ordering a D cup size one so hopefully that one will work too and then I also bought a nursing bra from Target and that one I've been wearing as well which I really like my only complaint about that one is that it started pilling after like I don't know five wears which I feel like is very quick for something to already start pilling but I will link all of them down below I think this airy one is my favorite one that I have worn so far um, and I do like the thick the thick straps because again I need some support even though I'm wearing something that is stretchy it doesn't have underwire or anything like that so I have been really enjoying this and I think just having something comfortable that you feel supported in is essential especially if you're already large chested I'm assuming there's women out there who are small chested and are excited about you know growing a little bit and buying a new bra for me i was dreading this part and have not been enjoying it so i just want to be as comfortable as humanly possible and then my last mention it's not really a must-have but 
I do think it's fun to do and that is I have a bodycon ribbed dress I will insert a photo of me in it here but I've been taking weekly photos and video clips to just kind of document the progression of my belly and I think having a bodycon dress like that is super fun to do there's so many options on Amazon and this one I found was super affordable and I ended up buying it in my true medium which I've had plenty of room to grow so far but I did end up ordering it in a large as well just because I don't know how long I don't know how big my belly will get or like how long it'll fit me and so I do have a large in case I do need to end up sizing up to that one at some point but I wanted to make sure I had both of them in case I don't know it's not sold anymore it wasn't available if I did need it and I would just be able to have the exact same dress the entire time so that is just something like fun and extra that you certainly do not need but I just wanted to do. Alrighty guys, those are all of my pregnancy must-haves, at least so far. I would love to know down in the comments what your pregnancy must-haves have been, if you have already been pregnant, if you're pregnant right now. Let me know all the things that you are loving or things that worked for you, things that didn't work for you, things that you thought you would love but ended up not loving. Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.